So what is a rheumatoid arthritis, autoimmune disease, or any chronic condition? It is an inflammation in the body. It is a pain. Food it is the number one source, inflammation in the body. But food can be different. It can be pro-inflammatory or anti-inflammatory. And today we're going to talk about cooking oil. That's uh, cooking oil, what you buy in plastic container. It's a very pro-inflammatory food. And there is an, at least two reasons for this. Omega-3, and we all know about this, very important, right? It's come from wild fish, pasture-raised meat, some plants. Omega-6 come from the same sources, but most of this common from cooking oil. Omega-3 and omega-6 crucial for our body. We need it and body cannot produce it. It's only come with the food. To be healthy, we need omega-6 to omega-3 in proportional one to one or two to one. But because we consume so much cooking oil, which include also in all our processed food, the proportional became 20 to 1 to 40 to 1 in some cases. Omega-6, it's not bad for us. It is a proportional between omega-6 and omega-3 important. Most people cook with this oil, but it's not high heat oil. When it's heated, the process oxidation it's happened to release harmful byproduct. Also, when a manufacturer produces this oil, it's going through the multiple heat process. And it's not only became highly processed oil, but it's also dead, pure fat, and tasteless. To take home message, omega-6 and oxidation highly contributed to inflammation in the body. So what we can use instead? Extra virgin cold press olive oil. Ideally, we should not cook with this oil because it can be damaged by high heat. So when you start to cook, maybe you start with a little water or some brass or another kind of oil. When you turn off heat, you can finish with this oil. The best oil for cooking, it's avocado oil. Superfood, very natural taste and a lot of health benefits. Unrefined avocado oil we should use for cold dishes and refined avocado oil for high heat cooking. And ladies, this is a very good also moisturizer. It's help produce your body collagen when penetrated. Another great choice is a coconut oil. Organic, cold press, and unrefined, extra virgin, high temperature oil. There is over 1500 study show this is a, one of the healthiest food on the planet. And also it's a easy to digest, antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral. Real old fashioned organic butter, it's also a very good choice if you don't have a dairy allergy. Another good choice for high temperature cooking, ghee or clarified butter. Ghee is more nutrient dense food than butter and casein and lactose remove or in very small amount. People who have dairy sensitivity can still have this butter. Storage. An open oil has a life shelf about 24 months but when it's open, try to use this during six months. Always store oil in dry and cool place, uh, away from light and heat. So when you buy your olive oil or avocado oil, try to buy in dark glass bottle. The take home message, start to read labels. Remember, this kind of oil everywhere in processed food. Look also and try to avoid partially hydrogenated oil. Next time I show you how to make a homemade mayonnaise to replace the highly processed one what you buy in a store. I'm Lucy Piper, your RA coach. If you have a question, please ask. Click link below and download my free cooking book if you have a chronic condition or you want to avoid it.